In this video, you'll learn how to install the click rest connector and create a rest connection. The click rest connector provides a means for the click platform to load data into a click application from a rest service that returns data in XML, CSV, or JSON format. To install the click rest connector, download the setup file from the click download site. Log on to your click.com account and download the setup file from the connector tab. Run the setup file and follow the steps to complete the installation. The REST connector can be installed on ClickSense desktop or ClickSense server. Please note, to install on ClickSense server, you must have administrator permissions on the server. When the installation is finished, open ClickSense. Now the REST connector is available as a custom connector when you open Add Data or the Data Load Editor. In Add Data, the Select a Data Source step appears immediately with a list of connectors. Select REST connector from the list and enter the URL of the resource being requested from the REST service. In this case, we are inserting a URL that gives us access to weather data from Google. The URL syntax must include HTTP colon double slash. In addition to the location, the URL can include query parameters and other information about the data being retrieved. Enter the timeout value in seconds. This is the time limit for the connection to be completed. Select get or post from the method dropdown list. The get method retrieves information from the resource and does not change the state of the server. The POST method creates a new entry in the resource. The entry is specified in the request body field, which appears when the POST method is selected. Select Auto Detect Response Type to detect the data format in the REST data source when the connection is made. Select the key generation strategy to use for creating primary and foreign keys in JSON and XML data. Specify your credentials for the REST service. Enter the username and password for the REST account. Select Force Basic Authentication if the server uses the OAuth authentication schema. Select Installed or From File for the Use Certificate property to use an X509 certificate for authentication. Select the type of paging to use from the Pagination Type drop-down menu. To select the appropriate type of paging, you must know how the data source to which you are connecting implements the REST API. Enter the name and value for any additional query parameters. Query parameters are specific to the REST service to which you are connecting. Enter query header field names to be included in the HTTP request header and the values for each query header field. Enter a name for the connection in the name field. The name field contains a default name for the connection. On the data selection page, select the data you want to load. When you click load and finish, a sheet with the selected data will be created. You can now use the loaded data to populate your visualization. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.